Welcome to Adults Only Comedy Berlin. Here is the final part of my chat with Shahak Shapira. All right, so we've talked about uh, body preferences and partners. Okay. You don't like uh, body hair. Okay. Um, See, that's... Bo- what What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> you don't like body... What the you don't fuck like, are you talking about? You don't like armpit hair. You're unattracted. I don't like armpit hair. That's a, it's a totally different thing. I don't care for, like... I don't care for a hairy vagina, for example. You'd go full bush? Hmm? Full bush? That's your fucking choice. Same with armpit hair. Huh? Same with armpit hair, right? Yeah. But, yeah, but you don't like armpit Both, hair. Yeah, but I, I just don't like it. That's what I'm saying. You're trying to find a rational explanation in something that is just a personal preference. Because I think it's social conditioning. For, yeah, I think you're, it's social you're doing conditioning. this white woman bullshit thing. It's a, a childhood trauma that made you not like that you the, the, the woman with hairy armpits beat the shit out of you when you were a kid. No, no, just don't like it. <laughs> what? Not, that's not it at all. I believe that we don't like armpit hair because we're socially conditioned to not like it what because do you mean we, there are no images we? of women in the media all of society there are no images of women in the media except for lesbians who's we? there's a bunch of men that are into that or they don't mind yeah they don't mind it yeah. and, they, and that's because they see that they, they've gone oh, okay oh i'm sorry you, you sound disappointed when you say they don't mind. you want them to be into that I don't care. I don't think they should have an, I think that there should be no opinion about it. It's just like, mm-hmm. I don't have an, if you, if you want to remove your, for me, attraction. And if you want to remove your armpit hair, I'm not going to judge you. If you have armpit hair, I'm not going to judge you. Same with like any hair on your body. I don't care. That's not going to affect how I am attracted to you or um, view you. That's your choice. It's your body. How you keep it as your. Those are very different things. How you view yeah. someone and if you're attracted to them. True. And I'm, what I'm saying is, I think, because however... one of them you can, you know, one of them is is a very, um, I don't know, it's a, a thing you should go into very neutrally, right? The way you see someone. someone. Mm-hmm. But attraction is, is just a very, still a very... Uh, it's a different thing. It's a very, pri- like a very... Primal? Primal saying? thing, primal, mm-hmm. exactly. Yeah. Yeah, it, it is. Yes, I agree. Uh, but in, in general, I suppose what I'm saying generally, we're really writing this topic generally how, you know, viewing someone and judging someone based on how they maintain their hair. Uh, again, not touching on hygiene. I, I don't think uh, and how they dress and those things. I don't someone... like it in men either. Yeah, I know. It's uh, uh, men. Uh, the problem with men is they wear, like, thank God for COVID now, because if if you went raving in summer here in Berlin, they wear those those t-shirts that are yeah. like, ugh. It's not a t-shirt. It's not a f- just a wear singlet, a fucking like a, t-shirt. Like I've got yeah. I'm wearing a shirt that I could show my. It's like a hair spaghetti and... bullshit thing. Oh, you mean like a mesh a mesh singlet? Like a wife beater, but tiny. Like it's like. You, like their nipples are are are, are like Janet Jacksoning, <laughs> just their nipples, you know, and they're like they're like muscular, and then they rub on you, and like you, it's wet. I really dislike people touching me when they're dancing when they're sweaty. Yeah. So to me, armpit hair is like a sponge of that, and that's what I don't like about it. It's like a sponge, Ugh. sweat sponge. Yeah. Otherwise, it, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Fuck that. Fuck that. Yeah. All right. So we've dealt with armpit hair quite extensively. Yeah. I think it, yeah. I don't like earrings too. Yeah. You told me that. You don't like yeah. gen- jewelry in general. Yeah. yeah it's yeah. the same, the same thing. It's, it's a phobia. It's not my fault. Hmm. I want to like it. I just, uh, ugh. it's like wine. I don't like wine, but I want to be the guy. I want to. I want to. I want to see sit every night and just drink a glass of wine or whatever the fuck. <laughs> I want to have this life. I want to have this life. I want to have the armpit hair, wine drinking life, but I can't. I can't. Just doesn't taste good. Both. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry that you can't drink wine. You don't drink at all, actually. That's part of the reason why I was really... That's not true, right? I, I drink. You don't really drink. I do drink. 
I've I've I think I've seen you drink a beer once. You know what? No, I I've think, I one think you're full of shit. That's what I think. You, <laughs> you drank a bunch of shit. And now you're full of it. That's that's what I think because I wanted to drink in Italy, but someone someone was felt the need to talk all the time about how how well she's doing ever since <laughs> since she stopped drinking. So I felt like if I were even to pick up a glass of anything that has alcohol in it, I would ruin her life. What? Bullshit. That's why I didn't drink. We were with other people who were I'm drinking. I'm a social drinker. No, I, I would have drunk. Yeah, but with um, uh, your friend, um, our friend. With Jochen? With Jochen. He drank. He when was drinking. He, drink? he was drinking a beer and he would drink a, an Aperol Spritz with, um, with his boyfriend, with Oliver. Yeah, but I, but never, we never got like really, there was never like a night where we got really drunk. The night when they met us in Napoli, we could have, they were, they were a bit drunk. We could have. But we ate ice cream a lot. I feel like that we got sugar high. We did. I got so, like, at some point if I eat so much, it's like I can't drink anymore. Like, yeah, you're already full. Drinking. Like, alcohol is also a lot of sugar. But I was going to say that was part oh, of the reason. Also, it was our last day and we had to... Uh, we had to do stuff. Yeah. Like, I drink I'm a, I, I drink at parties, which is not a thing anymore. Yeah. Uh, I drink... Uh, I drink when I, you know, when I'm on a date. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's the that's the way you gotta do it. Like, when, when was the last time I fucked someone sober? Come on, where am I? Here? I've that's all I've been doing. It's crazy. Ugh, that's disgusting. It's it's interesting. I really like it actually. It's like having sex with the lights on. It is. But like the white, like the light, white like lights. White like, it's like having sex in an light. office. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It really is like all the tables are pushed back. It's someone's couch or bed, and you've got the I've got the fluorescence but on. Like a first date, a first date. Yeah. Like rarely, I have been like sober. Yeah. 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 I uh, all my dates in the last year and a bit have been uh, completely sober. I oh no, I had sex once with someone with this friend. We had a hash cookie. And so I wasn't technically sober, mm. but that was in. Huh. Um, sober sex is fun. Like it, it, it's it was really uncomfortable the very first. It's. You need to get the mic a little bit away from you. I think. You reckon? Me. Yeah, because you're like this right now. It's okay. It's not going too high. All right. I, I've got the gain quite low. Good. Thank Good. you. Just explaining so. a little bit in between. <laughs> Just checking. <laughs> that was totally huh? in between. Really? Was it? When you asked me which mics to buy, was that man- men's playing? No, too? you were I'm, giving me great. I'm sorry for ruining your your jam with my expertise. I'm sorry. Thank you, Shahag, for giving me all the information about how to set this mm-hmm. up. Yeah. You, 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 you held my hand through the podcasting uh, preparation time it's gotten tough right to to know notice the difference between someone just trying to help and just people saying bullshit because of their gender right i blame facebook i think it's usually pretty clear like you are you were genuinely concerned right then about Mm -hmm. but i can see for example the recording but it's always good for someone to be like hey that looks like you might be too close for the recording you know i think that's that's yeah yeah nice concern that's okay but if you were like explaining something that i clearly you know if you came in here and told me how to set it up and be like in a condescending way yeah it's you can yeah you can read through the yeah yeah that makes sense yeah so you haven't had sober sex for a while then no we had sex sober okay uh because the first time no i'm not gonna no okay yeah yeah it's cool i um yeah it's all the sex I've been having. And actually, I think, I don't know, I think I'm less good at um, telling them what I want initially. I'm a bit like, oh, I don't want to, I don't like, I'm too careful and, and, and concerned about um, like offending them or, or, or damaging their confidence. But then, you know, yeah, like after the first time, you always get more comfortable and then you're able to talk more. Mm. But I think I'm definitely the first time I'm I'm way I'm way more shy. But that said, when I'm drinking, I'm also just like maybe not so present anyway. So I don't know. I don't think there's an improvement or a, 
or a, a, yeah, a disadvantage mm. to sober sex. Mm. I think I'm probably able to orgasm more easily sober anyway. Mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So squirting. Yeah. Have you ever made someone skirt, squirt? Skirt? Squirt? Has anyone squirted for you? You see, even the, the way you ask that question sounds like it's my fault. <laughs> Have you ever made someone squirt, you fucking loser? <laughs> Why haven't you made her squirt? I've never squirted and I feel Why like Why haven't a fucking you loser? made her just drop a liter of urine juice water from her vagina? Like like a water angel. Like a water angel. <laughs> well, fuck me for not... Jesus. <laughs> For not being the the fire brigade of I'm of not the like I'm vaginas. Just, I'm not the gatekeeper in this. No, equation. it's not. Have you ever experienced a woman squirting? Nah. Nah, me neither. Like I, me neither. Of like I fucked women. I have been fucked many a time. Never squirted. Never seen it. But I did all this research into it, and I've been trying to make myself squirt. Well. I'm not there yet. Like, uh, like I'm having orgasms from my G spot, but I'm not, um, not squirting yet. Well, shame on you. <laughs> I know, right? I'm working on it, but I like, I've lost a little bit of momentum. Like, Why I've been are you very working busy. On it? What's the? <laughs> Why am I working on it? Yeah, what's the? What 2021 you, what resolution. You? I want to squirt. Well, yeah, sure, but why? 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 Yeah. Because I want to see if I can do it, and because I've never really tried. Mm. And I've done all the research into how to do it because I wrote this article for a comedy club. <laughs> this like satire I'm just piece. saying some other people learn Chinese and stuff. but Yeah. yeah. Well, I already learned Japanese, so it's fine. All I don't right. need to do that. Now I need to learn how to squirt. No, because there's some, like some people um, say that they, you know, they just can't. And I'd like to know if I just can't or if I can do it. And if I just need to, because it's really about... Um, the way you can squirt, like the, the biggest uh, block to squirting or the big main reason why people don't squirt. Is because they think they're about to pee. Boom. Psychological thing. And so I, um, and I know that like in me exploring and trying to squirt, I've realized that I'm like, oh, I don't want to wet my sheets in case I do trigger urine instead. So um, I read. So how many times have you peed yourself? <laughs> <laughs> That's what we all, everybody is listening right now want to know. How many times have I peed myself? Yeah. Uh, zero since I've been sober. <laughs> if you would have done it in the kindergarten, you would have had a great alibi. Yeah, man. What? Like uh, I was trying to squirt Just next to the children. The <laughs> Just the kid peed there. Yeah. It's fucking Jonas. You know him. Oh, Jonas. Yeah. Um, no, I well in my research, um, there are sex mats. So I could just put down a towel, but there's also a thing called a sex mat, which um, I, I, it sounds like a better towel and it sounds like, <laughs> and I want to buy one. Sounds like a way to make money I know, out right? of desperate <laughs> white women. <laughs> Who don't want to mess up their sheets. Um, usually, I, like if I'm bleeding, I would usually just put down a towel and be like, let's go crazy. Sounds um, like one of those bullshit things they have in Ikea after you went through the garden department. You know, like <laughs> so you have a bunch of shitty candles nobody wants, like this sand, but you buy it in a bag because you're an idiot. <laughs> You know, and then you have like a squirting mat. <laughs> a squirting <laughs> mat. Exactly. Or like, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's also like for, you know, like those, for uh, other messy sex the, Yeah, those TV well. ads for those ab trainers, the, the, the belts. The little pads? Yeah, just yeah. the little ab things on TV. Yeah. yeah. Like that bullshit. Like that bullshit. Exactly. But it's also like for period sex, for squirting, and I guess for like... Mm, yeah, other things it that can happen. It has numerous applications. Numerous yes. applications. So I'm thinking I could just roll out a towel. But yeah, like getting a towel, like having a, a nice little sex mat sounds nice because then I could like put it in bed and then it'd be like, my sex mat is ready for me to squirt on. Um, whereas getting a towel out. And yeah, then, I, I imagine that would be a great romantic moment when you're like, oh, wait. Let me get my sex mat. Let me get this. <laughs> got it from Amazon. I got it from Amazon. <laughs> got it from Ikea. I got it from Ikea. Yeah, so no, much. no, behind the candles. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, After the garden section. Yeah. I, um, but yeah, I'm thinking I, I do just need to pull out a towel and give it a try because also it's like I'm usually masturbating before I go to sleep and, um, and I'm a bit tired at the moment. So you're, 
So when you can do it, it's going to be a surprise. Or no, it's not. You're going to announce it. You're like, wait, let me get the towel. When? When what? When? What do you mean? When you gained the... When I get it? When I get the sex map? When you learn the squirt attack. Oh, when I learn the squirt? It's like a Pokemon thing, you know? <laughs> when I get that. Yeah, when Pikachu I... learned squirting. <laughs> <laughs> but Pikachu needs a towel. You need to carry a to- the, the yeah. towel item. Becomes like a... Uh, so you're going to be like, as soon as you... Uh, as you Hitchhiker's it, Guide to the Galaxy. Always need a towel and... You're going to be like, stop, hold your... Stop! Hold your penis. Hold your penis. Well, I can we hold it. Let towels. me get the mat. Yeah. I'm going to... No, I think it would be like... Because um, I think you should make it a surprise. <laughs> what, the squirting or the towel? The, the squirting. Mat. Like, he's going to be like... Oh, yeah, yeah. No, it's just when I'm by gonna myself. He's going to pull out and, and he thinks like we're done. He's like, wait, wait. Just stand there. Step a little lower. Just... just That's the noise of me squirting. Gotcha. <laughs> and he's just like this way and he's drenched. <laughs> See, I, the thing is this, the, the sex mat, I want... For when I'm practicing, like I want to develop the skill and then know what it feels like. And then that way I'm aware of what's about to happen. And then when I pull my bag of tricks out in the act with an actual other I human just think being. you want to jizz into a guy's face, I Anna. so want to jizz in a yeah, guy's yeah. face. Oh my God, I want I to come that. all over him. Yeah. Yeah, I really want to do that. Yeah. I want to wet his bed. I want to be like, oh. Like, do you know how many times people have that's ca- the, come that's on me? That's the Nikki like, Glaser bit. It's excellent. <laughs> yeah, She's I'm going like, to... I just want to go and mess a guy's apartment up. Exactly. And like, be like, see ya. <laughs> see ya. Exactly. <laughs> like... Exactly. I I have had so I've wiped so much cum off me in my life that I want to make I want to see a guy wipe shit off himself and be disgusting. like disgusting. Be like, uh, what's disgusting? Not nothing. So revenge is your reason? No, it's just balance. Revenge porn. It's just balance. Yeah. <laughs> balance. That's, <laughs> that's the white woman word for revenge. <laughs> balance, of course. Yeah. Just put it. Just I want to be unmarginalized as a woman. <laughs> I feel I just, like there's a, a, an imbalance in power of between us. Yeah. And uh, and and I wanna. I feel like it would be really empowering if if I could just jizz on your face. Yeah. With a bucket. Or like jizz on your stomach. Just on a. I would. Just I just want a bucket of. <laughs> of fluid. Nobody knows what it Femges. is. Fem jizz. Could be acid in it. As- <laughs> that would be fun. No, it's mainly. It's actually. I know exactly Imagine what it is. It would be like like. Like sulfur acid, and, and it would just burn somebody's face. <laughs> oh, just she skull. came on me. <laughs> the ball, just the the, the the bones are like. Oh. Oh. No, it's actually this fluid that comes from, um, like, it goes through the urethra, like the pee pipe. It sounds like a it, really good plot for for like a, a hentai. So that's how that's how hentai? the animated porn yeah. thing Japanese. It's a good plot. Like, what's the plot? Well, like there's this woman, and she um, she goes on a magical quest to to obtain a sword that lets her squirt acid. Oh, does it have to be um, acid? Does it have to be violent? Huh? Acid? Does it have to be violent? Of course. So, yeah. What what else would she? That's the whole well, thing. It should be like a magical potion that like no, no, creates she wants happiness. To squirt and acid. She wants to squirt acid. She wants to fuck up people's faces because she. I don't know. Men have done horrible things to her. Right. And, 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 you know, and that's life, but she takes, she's trying to take, to, to take it back, to reclaim power mm-hmm. by squirting acid, acid into men's faces, you know, but she tempts them, right? She's like, a um, wait, what was that movie? There was a movie about like this creature. Oh, uh, fuck. Um, um, I don't know. Is it catfishy? Do you mean like she's, she. She lures She's them into like her trap. She's like a mythical trap. Japanese creature. I think there's. It's actually a thing like the like this that disguise itself as a beautiful woman woman, mm-hmm. but to tempt men who are who are dipshits. Mm-hmm. And then right? what is? And but is she like still, a hideous she's not a hag. Creature. She's just a, a beautiful woman, but she has this power of, of squirting, <laughs> right? And she's and she's like so the man like yeah 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 and and she's like. Uh, and, yeah. And yeah. Yeah. She's like, yeah. Yeah. And, and he's like, oh, you're going to come now, right? Because because they think, you know, they like oh, I can make any woman come like any man. Yeah. you go. And she's like, oh, oh, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to come. Uh, wait for it. You know, it's it's coming. The come train is, is on its way. And, and he's like, yeah. And then just 
acid. Acid. And he does he like, like no. burn like yeah, he just mouths yeah, like, oh, no. why? I, I would have done it anyways because you're so hot, but I regret it still. Oh, I, And what my, becomes of him? What becomes man, of him? Inst- just nothing. He, he turns, turns into, into nothing? He vanishes. Just bones. No, just bones. Bones? Yeah, so, because ooh. the acid just That's melts cool, everything else. Yeah. And he's like, you know, but before this, what have I done? Oh, my penis has gotten the better of me again. And she turns him into what she was just looking for, which is just a, like... Bone. No, she turns the bones into really high quality vibrators and then she sells them on Etsy. She has a side business. Very good. Yeah, like this is a solid plot. Vibrators. And what are they called? It's like really cute vibrator. <laughs> really cute. Get on Etsy, it's handmade. <laughs> It'll make you come acid. <laughs> yes, it makes me come acid, but it's really high quality and it's fed trade. It's made out of bones of white cis man. White oh, cis man. I support that. Yes, I support that. White cis man. It's fair trade. Fair trade. They all got to come before they got they, they, they got come on, so that's fair. It's fair. They all had an orgasm. It was balanced. They had an orgasm and then they died. And then they died. <laughs> orgasm and then they died. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, yeah, the white widow. White the widow. The white widow. Yeah, because the jizz is white yeah. and stuff. Yeah. It's good. And they turn into bones, which are also white and yeah and then it's and the vibrators are white it's good yeah it's good it's a concept it is a concept it's very solid yeah i like it i like it a lot it could be a really it It could could be be a really pretty neat pretty neat i think it doesn't even have to like it be yeah it like it could be very sexual but i don't think it's just limited to being hentai no i think it could be like a genuine story like a like a main not mainstream but like you know i've been watching some some anime i bet yeah Watching uh, you at Full home? Metal Alchemist right now. Ooh. Yeah, have you watched that? Are we really going to talk about anime? No, no, I haven't watched that. How condescending. <laughs> How fucking dare you? How fucking dare you? Dude, I love anime. anime. I love anime. But Come you on. haven't watched Full Metal no, Alchemist? No, I haven't watched many anime, to be honest. Which, because I'm condescending about how it. How about Attack on Titan? Mm-mm. Death Note? Mm-mm. A fucking Dragon Ball? Not even. Pokemon? No. <laughs> Just Hayao Miyazaki films. Oh. Yeah. Just cool. Studio Ghibli. Yeah. So I... It's now all I'm up. getting into animes now. Yeah, I can hear that. That's yeah, cool. I like it. Yeah, that's good. That fits your personality. It's, uh, you know, your predisposition to stay at home and not talk to people. Yeah, I'm sorry. Well, everybody else is partying, obviously. I'm the only one staying <laughs> You're at the home. the only sorry. loser yeah. <laughs> watching well, anime right me. now. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. I love anime. It's a, great, it's, it's a great story. It's about those two brothers and, and they're alchemists. Ooh. You know, it's a, so they do like magic, but chemical element manipulation thing. Yeah. But they try to bring back their mother. So they're died. looking for like the elixir, but mm-hmm. but they have to everything. The rule of alchemy is everything that is gained must be repaid. With everything that else. is gained must be repaid. So yeah. he, they, it's too. So brothers, he said everything right? that is gay must be repaid. <laughs> everything that is gay must be repaid. It's a very conservative anime. Very con- a little bit homophobic. No, it's two brothers, right? <laughs> so one of the so they do this ritual in the beginning of mm-hmm. of the whole thing to bring back their mother who died. Mm-hmm. Their father left them. So classic, but it goes wrong, right? Because they they have to pay a debt, and the debt is uh, one of the brothers dies, mm. um, so that the mom can come back. But the other, no, she doesn't come back. Okay, the, yeah, it's just fucking bullshit, right? They right? don't even get her back. So that's not balanced. So the one brother is left without him, but he manages to capture his soul, his brother's soul, in an armor. Mm-hmm. In a, just a big armor of a knight, so it's it's just a walking, hollow, hollow s- knight metal man, yeah, with the soul of a child and a voice of a child, um, but for that his brother has to sacrifice his arm and his leg. This is very Japanese. So There's a lot of has, sacrifice so going has, on, but it's beautiful. So he has a metal arm. It's about the sable children. <laughs> <laughs> wow, metal arm and a metal leg. Uh huh. And his brother is just a talking armor, to- talking armor, and they try to figure shit out. Wow. Yeah. 
Yeah. Cool. I've Attack been get- on Titan is great too. Attack on Titan is okay. I've been watching uh, Community. I finally started watching Community. I love Community. I like Community a lot too. It's uh, I really it's 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 buoying me. It's been good. Um, I watched all the other shits. That's why I'm watching anime. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I have my, I have, my, my, I have a show buddy. Uh, it's Caroline Clifford. Yeah. Car- Caroline and I, we have the same taste in, in, in shows. So we just, and we watched all the things. Yeah. Basically. So I don't watch that many things. That's, that's the thing. I don't. I, no, I Caroline, finished... Car- Caroline and I, between us, we watched Everything. all the things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like, I was watching, it took me probably a year and a half or a solid year to finish uh comedians in cars getting coffee and like i've watched every single one but mm. like i will watch I'm watching that now too uh, i love it so much i will watch like 20 minutes max per day on uh, yeah unless it's like a, a film yeah of, of comedians in cars get, exactly it would be one episode but i can't i don't have i can't sit in front of a, a screen for that long unless it's a film and then it's like a and then i usually split it between across two nights i have a hard time not doing other shit while watching yeah there's that as well like i'll try not to be on I'm my not phone. even focused enough to like focus on watching tv yeah right like but it needs to like i like to be able to give my full attention but often it will be like on my phone and checking a couple of things and it's like no be present be present even for this um it's too bad there's a lot of good shit right yeah now. well i don't mm. know I like stuff. I'll let stuff come to me, but usually I'm, I'm making stuff. I prefer to be focusing on the output than input. Well, some of us who are losers don't have the energy to make stuff. So we just watch <laughs> stuff other people made. Yeah. And that's yeah. great. That's great. And I, I, you need that. You need uh, that's inspiration as well. I like, trigger it. ideas. No, I watch a lot. Not to, uh, just laziness. Yeah. I don't read anything. I don't care for that. I don't care for books. I love reading, I but I don't, I will maybe spend like, I'm, I've got maybe five books going. I just don't see the point in a world where Netflix is there. Like everything. But has the, lang- been... the language is so beautiful. Like the, I, I love reading and the words and the language putting the is word... beautiful on Netflix too. Not so much. Oh yes. I think the, like the language and liter- and like good literature has a different nourishing capacity than um, a script on Netflix. Oh, you like poetic stuff? I like nicely sent, like nicely structured sentences with poetic, uh, like yeah, I like different styles of writing, and I like. I can see that, but I can I like see being, that in, in Netflix too. But I also Netflix. like. I can I, see that in in script. In sure, script. but I also like the process when you read, where you create. Um, you can you see you create the images in your head as you read it. Yeah, you're not no, given that's everything. where. I, no, I'm like I'm. I'm like, fuck that. No, I really love that. I got Netflix. I'm paying them nine euros a month for them to do that work. I don't want to. Yeah. It's a different thing, Shaha. It is a different, a different thing. Different they have a whole thing. team to imagine this shit. Yeah. And, and like visualize but it. I enjoy the I'm process. Just, no, I'm not that arrogant. And I'm like, oh, I can. Arrogant. I can You're think saying of the it's best. arrogant. It's fucking arrogant. It's not arrogant. I don't think I'm like, I'm, I don't have the capacity of creati- creativity. Why are you being so mean out about your capacity? I know, because I'm, a, I'm an asshole. You're an idiot. I know. <laughs> I just want to annoy people. This is what I want. I want people to listen to this podcast and be like, fuck this guy. Fuck him. He, he doesn't read books. He doesn't read books. He doesn't like, he doesn't armpit, like hair. armpit hair. What the fuck is wrong with He's a sexist. He doesn't like Mario's. A, he doesn't like Mario's. He does, he's a trans. And he, he doesn't like the, British accents. He said the M word. They're called Little Peppa. They're called Little Peppa. They're called Little Peppa. They're called Little Peppa. Amazing. Fuck that. <laughs> Fuck that. I don't. I don't have the. I don't have the time. <laughs> I, I have you the don't time. have the time. I'm not gonna read a book <laughs> and imagine this shit. Someone wrote it as a script. People have directed it, and and they they spoke it. They studied for it. They're different. I'm not gonna go in and ruin shit with my imagination. They're different things, and they're different. My imagination pastimes. sucks compared to what they did. With, it's not a competition. With, no, it is. It is. It's not. It is, and I'm it's losing. Really, okay. Yeah. Well, I'm glad that you're seeing it as a competition. I enjoy the process of letting my brain imagine how things are and create spaces. And it's a, it's a, it's a different entertainment. And I really enjoy it. I just want to sit there and I want to, I want to have people telling me what I should think and feel. <laughs> uh, I want to be fed. Yeah. You want to be fed with entertainment and 
and opinion and also normal food and food yes you want food too yeah you want to you... be fed with all the things that are not food and are food and that aren't penises yes uh, without moving without moving exactly yeah. that's the ultimate for you yeah just yeah and like just like boobs and faces when you're fucking and uh gelato yeah yeah good good all yeah. right now i'd usually ask people if they want to plug something but you don't want to plug anything, do you? Aside from like something maybe physical, but what the fuck does that mean? I don't know. Maybe you want sex. Will you, would the people listen to this? No, not with the people that listen to this. Yeah, yeah no, just like yeah. generally, you know, like the maybe you, you want, want to plug something. You think I want armpit hair in my face? <laughs> 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 because all the listeners have armpit hair. I know. Yeah. Adults only. Only. Yeah, the adults. The adults. Stands for arm, um, armpit hair. Armpit hair. Only. 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 <laughs> that was well thought out. Yeah. Yeah. Just people who, that would be a weird fit. Someone who has no hair except armpit, armpit hair. hair. I'm talking no eyebrows. Yeah. No like my nothing. ex-husband. No nothing. Yeah, but just armpit hair. Just armpit hair. Yeah. But a lot. A lot. Like so much. Like, all of the hair is like being channeled. Like so much, so long, you can there. put it on your head and pretend like it's your, like you just, it's your hair, hair. All right. Do I want to plug anything? Uh, no, I have a special. We haven't talked about stand-up comedy. Should we talk about fucking stand-up comedy? What do you want to talk about? The thing that I don't know. Something just some. Yeah, we can talk about stand-up comedy. Fuck yeah. So I didn't want to empower women that much. You didn't want to empower women that much. Uh, now that I really have. <laughs> wow, yeah. Like, what have you done to empower women? I don't know. You said talking about sex is empowering women or something for some reason I don't understand. I think female comedians who, um, with like, shamelessly talk about their sex life and experimentation and turn any of those usually considered shameful topics into funny bits... Uh, I think that's empowering. There it's important for women to that's hear that. That's something we can disagree on. There we go. Why would you disagree with because that? Because I think the only thing that empowers female comedians is good female comedians. Just being funny as shit. Yeah, I agree. But I think if a woman stands up there and is um, making self-deprecating jokes about uh, her sexual, like her sexual experiences, or is is you know you can be super funny, but like if you're if you're somehow suggesting that um, your sexual, uh, like people who are women who are um, very sexual and, and, and have lots of different sexual partners, if you're a female comic and you make jokes at their expense, then that's not empowering. Um, it, even if they're really funny, that's still not okay. If they somehow are Why discriminating, not? if they're discriminating against women who are, if their jokes are based on the fact that women who Wait, have who, lots of sex. Oh, you're talking about male, male comics. I'm not talking about anyone in particular. I'm talking theoretically. What are you talking about? I'm talking theoretically. You're saying that a woman who talks about like who is just good at comedy, that's what empowers women. And I'm like, I just don't think no. empowering is, it should be a, a criteria in comedy. I think minority, like w- people who come from minorities are empowering those minorities by talking about their specific issues when they're doing yeah, comedy. Yeah, someone who comes from a minority, I, f- I can tell you, I fucking hate that. I know, I know it's fine to have a different opinion. I just... You I, hate it. I feel like people are, are disrespecting me when they say that about what I do. You know what I mean? What, like you being uh, from Israel and therefore Jewish. Yeah. That it's different when I reduces... do comedy. It's different when I do stand up in English. That's why I started doing stand up with you guys in English because it's not a big deal. But in German, it's different. What's not a big deal? My heritage because you all come from different places. Yeah. But um, in Germany, being a, a person from Israel is, is a special fucking thing. So it's like, <laughs> it's like being a white I'm like the equivalent to being a white woman, a slightly less, like slightly underneath white women mm-hmm. are male white Jews in my pyramid in Germany. Of intersectional bullshit. In Germany. In Germany. In oh, German yeah. stand up, yeah. In Germany. Everywhere else, we're. 
we're fine, mm. you know. Well, you're the dominant. I mean, not yeah, not Israeli, but for, Jewish. Except for all the, you know, uh, most Arab countries. Yeah, of course, you know, of course, not, of course. We're not doing well. But they're yeah. not. They're not really like the capitals of stand-up comedy production. So it's okay. <laughs> Not really. They don't. Not, really. not, not that many really good open mics in Saudi Arabia. No, no. But yeah, no. My, yeah, I loved it in New York. It was so normal. Yeah, exactly. You know? But my my point is, yeah, to empower to empower what who you represent. Is, just being good at the art form is what's important. But also, I think what I hate is when um, the messaging needs to be maybe, right. Maybe maybe uh, maybe some women comics can relate. Um, just you being on the stage turns into a political statement thing and um, and um, the reason i don't like that being used as something positive mm. I, I, I see why people see it as something positive for me it's negative because a lot of people is, have used that against me to discredit me as a comedian absolutely you know i know what you're saying so that's it's like what, you're just up there because you're one of the few females that has pushed hard enough and now you're up there because you stayed in the game and you're just there because they needed a female yeah. 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 I understand that argument. That's right. Yeah. It's, um, that's, yeah. It's, um, so yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure a bunch of female comics can relate or, I don't know. Oh, Arab, we all, Arab we all relate. comics or, yeah. or whatever, Jewish comedians in Germany. Or like, you know, a- Asian nationality, um, yeah. comics in Germany, you know, like. <laughs> in Germany. I mean, I, I, I see how, I see it being different in other Although with women, it's maybe more universal. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because um, simply being an artist as a woman is much harder because we haven't had the, the like social sort of welfare like uh, system support and able, in order to be able to pursue something creative like that because of, you know, maternity leave and uh, family culture and expectations and marriage and working rights and all of that stuff. So yeah. it's different. That being said, so, yeah. And then and there is just... A bunch of very talented female comics that I think um, just are really good at what they do, and mm-hmm. they don't. I I don't think they would appreciate uh, people saying, "Oh, you're so empowering" and and stuff like that. I don't know. I don't think. I don't think, I, I think um, someone saying like I've had people tell me <laughs> that I'm empowering them. Um, I've got some jokes that are about rapists, for example, and, uh, and I've had, I've had people come up to me and say, you know, thank you so much for joking about these topics. Um, that a lot of people are offended if you joke about these topics. Yeah, but it, it, it's all about the messaging, right? It's all about the messaging. And so, uh, when people tell me that my stuff is empowering, that's never going to be like, I'm never going to feel like, oh, wow, you just you just think that um, I'm I'm there because I'm a woman and and that's how I got got here. No, like the it. problem is I think some people f- some people get a misconception about what stand up comedy is when they start talking about personal trauma. You know, I I feel like it, it we got to a point that people um, talk about their trauma and uh, and the audience just they don't like it. But not because of their they talking about their trauma, just because you're using your platform less for entertainment, but rather because you think the audience is your therapist. You that's know? A, but that's not good stand-up mm-hmm. comedy. Exactly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, exactly. You need to be writing jokes. There need to be punchlines. And this is not exactly. your therapy five yeah, but, minutes. But just people, some people think just because you talk about a heavy, important topic it makes your stand-up more prestige or high quality not necessarily your your responsibility Mm -mm. is to the audience the audience doesn't have to to be your it's almost hacky sometimes if you're just going straight to heavy top it's almost like yeah that's a that's a heavily emotional topic the jokes need to be good for they that, need to be even for the, better. It's a, th- exactly. They need yeah. to be so like talking about rape or talking about um, death or talking about abortion or whatever. Those jokes need to be so well done in order because for them to be successful. Because you're talking about a very because most people when they hear it they're like, oh, that's not funny. Yeah, you need to. 
obviously, obviously. You know, be, but some yeah. people they walk on stage and, and like expect this is my trauma but i'm laughing about it so you should well make some fucking better well, jokes about write punchlines yeah. right and work on your delivery and make this worth it like you don't just drag your trauma around and expect that to be getting sympathetic or appreciate sympathetic responses or appreciation from an audience i think stand-up comedy can be therapeutic to some people but it's not a therapy session absolutely some people not use it, it's like uh the audience didn't resonate with my bullshit trauma like yeah but your responsibility is to entertain people in, yeah. in the first place and it's not to to um open up on something <sighs> Or to, you know, it's yeah. nice if you talk about trauma and people are mm. like, oh, this helped me and shit like that. But if, but your first and foremost responsibility as a comic for people who are paying you is to make them fucking laugh. Exactly. We're, we are in total agreement on that. Yeah. Yeah. But if you have, uh, if you don't shave your armpits, well, do that. <laughs> well then you just then don't you like my yourself. armpits. You should fucking kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> amazing well what's your special that people can check out they can't if they only talk english okay if they speak german it's a it's called german humor german humor yes it's very therapeutic it's about my story and my truth when i came to germany and people yeah. treated me like oh, I, have to, so I have to make comedy about it so i can laugh on the inside and it's not funny but it's therapeutic it's therapeutic no it's it's funny man well, of course it's, it's funny it's funny uh I, I get laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> so where can they find that? It should be my song. I get laughs. Shachak I, Shafira. I get laughs. I get laughs. Like like that like that internet. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I get laughs. I uh, there's a website. I th I'm one of the few German comics who produce their own fucking special. It's a rare thing in Germany because it's a bad idea. It's um. <laughs> So, yeah, so I have this website. It's called uh, German and then dash dash humor dot de, but humor in, uh, in more English. Like oh, humor. English H U M O U R. Way. Yeah, cool. yeah, that's right. And you can buy it for for six euro and ninety cents because it's sixty nine minutes. There's no sex pun in there. It's just the number of minutes. And it's a shame. Yeah. Okay. So you can, yeah, but it's in German, okay. uh, but it's funny. Are there subtitles? Huh? Subtitles? Oh, fuck that, I'm not writing subtitles. <laughs> <laughs> really expanding your audience. Okay, huh? cool. That's no, fine. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it in, in English one. I'm like, I'm... You're working on the English. Yeah, I mean, translating stand-up is not really translating. It's, it's kind of, it's... it's not starting from scratch, but it's a lot of like writing shit all over again totally i'm working on i've got two jokes in german because so i've I got to like, write the jokes in i don't like translating jokes from english to german doesn't work you need to you need to think of the jokes in german so i, I will eventually have i mean i think i have a i have a tight hour now i think but i will eventually have something ready yeah um and it will be maybe based on it but it will not be the same it'll be something different yeah, maybe like, could be completely new or just maybe, I don't know, 50%, 60, 70. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. All right. But that's, yeah, just follow me on fucking, I wish I would tweet and do stuff more in English, but I don't. I have so many people in that are German that are following me and I just, I can't You've get got, rid what, of like them. You've got like 56,000? On Instagram, yeah. On Instagram. I, have, I have like... Four hundred thousand more on on the other channels, um, but they don't like me. It's <laughs> <laughs> they just follow because they're friends. They're follow. just waiting for me to to trip. trip. Yeah, <laughs> that's what that's what Twitter is. There there are no benefits. It's just there. Yeah. Everybody's Twitter is just a bunch of people watching you, waiting you to make a mistake. Yeah, totally. I feel like uh, the, the number of people that are following me are my, not that many people at all, but the people, there's always more people that are following you than like you, uh, for example, on Facebook. You always oh, have course. so many more followers than you have likes. And you're yeah. like, wow. That's why it's assholes. different buttons. It's a button for <laughs> I like him. 
And the, the other button, it's not falling. It's actually, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting, I'm waiting in anticipation for your fail. Waiting yeah. for him to fuck for up. For the downfall. Yeah, and this podcast might be just the right thing. <laughs> this is how they're going to take me down. Armpit. Take me okay. down. There's nothing left. To no, be there's nothing. Down. There's nothing. I'm half man I used to be. <laughs> You should it's get a, into music. Yeah. It's a song. It's um. I I I do music. I know you did. Yeah. But you should get more into it. Just to compose for ads and stuff. Yeah, you should do that more. Yeah, more singing for more yourself. Vocals. More singing. I want to hear you sing more because you uh, you're a special singer. I used to sing on stage. Yeah. I used to play a guitar, and the most the, that's the how worst you get thing... that pussy. No. No. Um... <laughs> No, what happened was I was, I, I, that's why I stopped. Um, so I was doing like those funny songs. When I started, I didn't start stand up the way most people started stand up. I had, um, I wrote a book. Yeah. You wrote I, two books. I wrote two books. Two bestsellers. That's what you I have know. to say when you get, you know, when you're an outer so people know. Yeah. It means fucking nothing. By mm. the way, you don't need to really, you really don't have to sell a lot of books for them to be on this bullshit bestseller thing. <laughs> Anyways. I had to do a reading tour and I I couldn't read so I um, no I could read but like not very not very good could read good could read good could read good so I mixed it up and I started doing stand up and some reading and I played some shitty songs with my guitar so this is how I started stand up I had a 19 minute show from the first day on and, That's great uh, yeah anyway so I was playing those shitty songs right mm-hmm. And, um, but I was like, you know, I had chords and everything to this. I had a melody. <laughs> That's for sure. I had, sure. I had chords. <laughs> and after, I will never forget this. So I had the show. Um, and after the show, the, the, the woman who like promote the promoter, she drove me to my hotel and she was like, I really like the songs. And I'm like, Really? And she's like, yeah, it's really funny how you sing it extra bad. <laughs> and I was like, yes, yeah. Yeah, ex- extra bad. Intentionally bad. I sing intentionally badly. Yeah, I really try badly. To sing bad. Um, I really broke my heart. Aww. Yeah, that's heartbreaking. Yeah, and I never, I never sung again. That's like as a female comedian when people come Never up to you. Never gonna dance again. Guilty feet. Whenever a woman will come up to the show and be like, or a man will come up to the, to me after a show and be like, "Wow, it was really brave." What <laughs> it's was like, brave? Oh my god! Never talk to me. I Never installed this fucking app now, Clubhouse. Oh yeah, I'm so not. it's really big. And every time I go into a fucking room, everybody's fucking brave now. That's the whole thing. Everybody's networking and are being brave. Ugh. Every everybody who says something, mm. just I hate that. Just if you a... fart into the mic, oh, you're so brave. Thank you for sharing. You're so brave. Even fanny farts, like fanny farting. Yeah, into just the mic? anything you say, any kind of output is brave nowadays. It's so brave to install a shitty oh, app. I fucking hate brave. I never want to be. Bra- I'm just gonna. And talk about, I don't know, how he got a bad blowjob once uh, in the 90s. And it's so brave. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I give great blowjobs. Um, all right, we're going to finish there. I wasn't in a legal age to get blowjobs in the 90s. You weren't at an illegal age. I was also not at a legal age to give blowjobs. <laughs> no, I was 12. Depends on the country. I was 13. Yeah, 13 and 1999. Still depends on the country. Still, a blowjob is illegal. Anywhere. No, the age of consent isn't under 13 anywhere. Earliest I did a blowjob was 15. So. Uh, I, I feel like you're right, but I kind of want to call your me. bullshit on that. Like, Don't. I'm sure I can find a country. All right, well, you can get back to me. And let me know. You think maybe someone... F- I think this is a great question for the v- listeners. listeners. Yeah, you I'm want viewers. some listener inter- interaction here. Do I? Um, you know, find a country that allows blowjobs uh, under the age of 30. Just for research. Nobody wants to go there or anything. I just... Unless it's a really cool, you know, like... Unless it's a cool country and then it's like, all right. Yeah, not for the blowjobs. Job. 
No, it's just because, you know, trees and stuff. And yeah, like, yeah, true. You know, they trees. Have, they have pandas. Oh. You're suggesting China. Huh? You're suggesting China. <laughs> no, it's just. Uh, the only it's country bad, with pandas. Yeah, it's a bad example now. They have giraffes. Oh. Oh. Is that an African accent? <laughs> Yes, there was an African accent. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. It was an African accent. Africa. What was that? I don't know. What was that? It's terrifying. It was Arnold it was. Schwarzenegger trying to be black. black. <laughs> <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger trying to be Michael Blackson. Uh, Michael Blackson. You don't know Michael Blackson? I've heard of He's this. He's fucking hilarious. Michael Blackson. Michael Blackson. Is that a real person? Yes, mother sucker. <laughs> <laughs> No. Michael Blackson is hilarious. Is he a character of a comedian or an actual comedian? It's from the show you didn't like, Wild and Out. Um, Wild and Out, is, it was this... Oh, yeah, 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 the um, hip-hop Yeah, show. Nick Cannon was hosting I didn't dislike it. it, you just didn't show me a good episode. Oh, it's great. It has so many funny I didn't dislike shit in it. it. And Don't Michael Blackson, he's so funny. He's, um, yeah, he's black, if you, yeah. Like everybody on the show. What? No, there were some white people to be made fun of. Yeah, to be made fun of. Yeah, <laughs> like, <laughs> like you in punching bags there. <laughs> exactly, which they deserve to be. They had one white woman that was really good at rapping. Her name was Justina. Justina? Yeah. Justina, that is such Justina a white... Justina Valentine, sounds like a porn act. She, she yeah. also kind of looks like it, but she was, yeah. she, has, she was really great. She was a great freestyle rapper. Or she is. She's not dead. She's alive. She's a great freestyle rapper. Hmm, I should check her out. I love for, Tonight we're actually having a party. I love freestyling. We do. Uh, my housemates and I. Um, I did this hip hop improv show. I told you about it. We talked about it. That's why Wild and Out. Saeed's show? Yeah. And, um, was it cool? It was, it was fun. It was fun. Um, but as a result of that, uh, I've started with my housemates. We have, because of lockdowns, we party and we have uh, karaoke. We'll sing with the projector and then we'll dance. And then we do, we write down um, any word or ideas and we put it on a piece in a piece of paper into a hat and then we freestyle. We try and freestyle off the ideas. And so we're actually having a party tonight. Oh, you're pretending to be Jimmy Fallon. Yeah. It sounds like you're guys, you're just doing your own late night show. Yeah, exactly. We do our own, because what else, what other kind of party can we have? And so my housemate sometimes does it in German and then my other housemate will do it in Italian. And, shit. and no, it's just freestyle rap. It's just, and we put on some like um, low key beats in the background and we, uh, we freestyle based on ideas. And sometimes we're like, just all right, no three, rhyming. Three white women. Three white women. Freestyling. Dropping the N word. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, all the time. <laughs> all no. the time. We're amongst ourselves. No. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, you do. Not. Oh, yeah. All the time. No, no, no. I bet no. you rhyme the N word with the N word. <laughs> <laughs> no, we do not do that. My my housemates run like workshops on racist uh, racism and like uh, breaking it down and, you know, workshops on um you know solidarity and like working through racist trauma and stuff as white women but you know white people need to deal with their shame around racism yeah so i bet they just you know drop they the build up they build up the desire throughout the day and then they just no <laughs> that's the only n word you ever have this anxiety that you're gonna say it for some i have this I crazy to... anxiety when i'm when i'm like among people no, only only if I've been listening to a lot of hip hop and if I'm around, um, you know, POCs. If I, if I were black, I would try my whole life. I would dedicate it to trick white people into saying the N word. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I would fuck it. I would like. I would be a rapper, and I would like all the time. I would like just. And make sure they can't they can't substitute it with other words, right? So it doesn't. Nothing else rhymes. With it. Just like. And then I would get them on stage like the rappers do nowadays in concert. They get the that's it's like every time I see that you know like Kendrick Lamar he brings up a white kid on yeah. stage. I'm like, what A$AP the? F- it's a trap. It's a trap. You fucking. Ki- it's a trap. <laughs> He's like, so sets it up, you know, make them feel really good. Like, <laughs> da, 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 da. oh, that's evil. My dick is bigger because I'm a.
good, good friend person. of the show. <laughs> <laughs> My dick is bigger because I'm a valuable ally. A valuable. A valuable ally. ally. Fuck. All right, I've got to wrap this up. We're at heaps of time. So yeah, you uh, have to edit all of this. There's so much of this. All right, that's been awesome. Uh, yeah, we've got all the info about your um, special. So uh, all right, that's been Adults Only Comedy Berlin. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good, good yeah. Good freestyling. Shave your fucking armpits. No, no that's so beautiful. If you just what. Armpit flash to, to the camera. Do you want to see that? No. Oh, look at that. Look at these beautiful pits. They're a bit wo- moist. You're right about the absorption. <laughs>